I, I mean, that's why. just a normal for Bloom, to be that honest. That is very so. normal. I've never seen... <laughs> just not a fan. Obviously, we've got here just Siski never taking a game. Still looking very, very dire. As there is no nonsense, there oh. is no Joker. There we go. The Bloom forever. Bayo is here, and Siski has taken us to the green greens of PS2 to finally make his mark and settle the score. What do you reckon there, Emeril? Is it a 3-0, or are we going to see something a little bit more spicy? I want to see something spicy. I'm all for the spice today. I just want to see more video game action, to be honest. But at the moment, it is Siski trying to get off to a good start, but Bloom trying to find a way at the moment. Siski managed to wall out pretty well. And we'll have to just see how this manages to get started. Let's find out. It's all about Bloom just trying to find the best approach right now. He is struggling a little bit, giving himself a little bit of distance. Ooh, but there's that Phantom Footstool to avoid the up special. That was pretty sweet right there. Might not have been intentional, but it does not matter because he improvises. He overcomes as he forces Siski up to the corner. One kiss is all it takes as he makes his way up. Equalizes the percentage almost perfectly, but now he's in the corner. And nobody lets Siski hold that level as the down smash comes out. Yeah, Bloom. Bloom was looking a bit rough to begin with, but then found one entrance right there. And that is, as you said, all you need to get going in this matchup. And even up the percent, the city managed to keep Bloom on the ledge for quite a while. But here it comes. Bloom putting a lot of pressure on right now. The LB is going to manage to get him out of that situation. Not managing to kill even though the kill spots there. The fair is going to take it. Siski kicked the first stop of this tournament. And the crowd being very happy about that one. Yep, Siski, obviously a crowd favorite. Everyone happy to see an upset right here as Siski has to keep the pressure on. The witch time comes out, <laughs> barely clips him on the rise. Yeah, that felt like it was a bit scary Bloom going, if I, if I mess this up, if I, if I embarrass myself right now. But no, Bloom not getting that wrong uh, and does even up the stock straight away. Does manage to roll past that there and manage to get a few hits in. And this is on the ledge at the moment. Tries to use the fair aggressively off ledge, but doesn't manage to get anything off it. And now it's off stage against Bloom. Not managing to connect too much at once though, Bloom. Un uncharacteristically not managing to chain more than two hits together at the moment. Yeah, good stuff from Siski actually DIing up there, I believe, which meant he was put in a very weird position where he could kind of drift back to stage safely. Great work, but he just has to be so creative. Bloom is so willing to chase you, not only in game, but also in habit. He can just kind of figure out where you're DIing and then punish you for it. So it's all about getting in each other's heads. Right, he's going to get going to punish that landing with the grab. Tries to find another punish, but the side B from Bayo is going to connect. Now Siski has to find a way back to stage. Bayo not uh, one to let you do that for free. Siski does manage to just about weave around everything though, not, and manage to keep the stock online for a little bit longer. We could be there at the very end of time. The sun could explode. We could be sitting there with the radiation poisoning us, all eating roaches, and Bayo Bloom would still have his double jump. It's crazy how well he keeps it. He manages to go fo so far off stage, always finds his way back. And now it's something going at the moment. Is this game managing his way back? Taking him up, 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 up. But is it managing to kill at this moment in time? It is an unfortunate SD. Well, it did Bloom. manage to kill. I'll tell you that much. As Bloom just erupting into laughter there. Siski pretty stone-faced about it. But the crowd loved that one as keeping him out, keeping him in 116. Siski got to be very careful. Got to be very creative, all right? Ooh. There's the witch time. Got to be very careful with those missiles in neutral. They are very, very telegraphic. Yeah. Get that witch time going. You can get a hard punish there. Nice thing you can see out of Siski in these combos, though, is the SDI is really making Bloom work to keep mm. them going. You saw at the end there, take off just before Bloom SD'd, taking him all the way to the top right. Siski, Siski managed to get himself to the left of Bayo, so Bloom had to rechange that combo to find his way to keep it going. But Bloom very good at reacting to people's SDI. It is just the stuff. You've got to be so, so precise in order to have a fighting chance in the Bayo matchup. Siski, having a little bit of a think. Ooh. All right. See what we'll go. Oh, nah, oh, there music. we go. Didn't like there the music. Go. No, just... That's fine. I respect mm -hmm. that. I respect that. As everyone's piling in now, all right? They want to see this. They want to see if Siski can do it. And this is the cat I was talking about, all right? This is the Incineroar that Siski pulls out for Bloom. Final destination, all right? Write your essays, build your twit longers, character first, stage first, no matter. As the Incineroar is here, let's see what it can do. As frankly, Bloom with an explosive opening on the Feel Inferno. I love this cat. This cat is so fun to me. But at the moment, it's struggling to get back to the edge of the stage. But Bloom, though, missing that edge guard. He does manage to find his way back, but this combo has not ended just yet. Bloom taking us on an adventure from side to side of the stage. The cat having a hard time right now getting anything going. But the side beat is going to connect. And 63% from like two hits, I think it feels like. Yeah, can't witch time that. As trying to make his way back in. A couple of Alolan whips are flying all right. As Nair, very, very strong against Beho. Almost a perfect center for the kill, but doesn't quite find it. Back air comes out. 
and start building a little bit of rage, start finding a little bit of revenge, could very easily find a kill off literally anything. So we are just trying to find a way out. The grab does miss, but doesn't actually connect the back air as he's forced out. There it is. A very, very nice first stock from Siski. Took a bit of a beating early, but that back air not even managing to get. Oh, I no, think he went for a side B or off. something. Oh, no, the side B, yeah, and thrown back. back out, I think that's what happened. That's a difficult one. Incense like to use that side B to save their jump for a bit later in their recovery. Bloom looking for something a bit spicy there, doesn't manage to connect. Siski looking for the side B and legs, not managing to find that either. Both players just trying to find something to get it going at the moment. And Siski is the one to take a bit more damage. The armor on the up B managed to get him back to stage four. A bit free there. And that armor on the up B is going to be so, so invaluable. One problem about Incineroar. People say Incineroar's recovery is bad. I disagree with them. I don't uh -huh. think it's bad, but it is linear, all right? Some people call that the same thing, but there's only so many ways you can mix it up. When we have the aerial mobility of Bloom Forever on Bayonetta, it becomes a nightmare just trying to keep him out of your head as the up smash comes out thrown into the sky. The cats always land on their feet as Siski is back and swinging right now. The net coming out, but the chop not going to come through as Bayonetta forces him out. There's the dash. There's the up special. The thing about this matchup, I'm sure, is that Bloom can, or Bayo can struggle to kill Incineroar sometimes, but at the moment, Bloom skillfully finding those kills, and it's Siski in the back seat at the moment, having to find a way to get back into the situation. The up the special is going to manage to connect, and Siski not actually managed to take that stock right there. Looks like he's going to go down there. It's lovely. I don't need 56%. It's doable. It's very doable. Fantastic stuff. Bloom going for a taunt right there. Either party can find a single interaction. I've just watched BMS Alex walk into the room and become very confused at what they are looking at. But you know what? Some would call it mad, but I call it genius. As the Siski Incineroar is mere moments from finding Bloom in neutral. As the Alolan Whip comes through, tries to find a second, but he is forced off. You can see if he can make a recovery, make his way back to center. But unfortunately, not quite able to make it. Little by little there, Romero. And it's Bloom who has Siski on the leg right now. Siski has to find his way back. The side beat is going to manage to grab the leg. And Bloom looking for the jab, not managing to connect. This is still a very scary situation, but Incident can turn this around in one or two hits. The jab is going to connect and is not going to just about kill. Oh, the side B I thought for a second where it might be a, uh, a SD off the side, but does manage to find his way back to leg and get off leg. Don't find a hit at the moment. Kansiski, 185%. Bloom looking for the guns, but doesn't use it. RB into the guns again. We cannot find the kill. Neither player managed to find a definite hit right now. That's Saipi though, that's a definite hit. That's the stuff, Bloom has to be careful. Obviously it makes sense to just chase Incineroar off stage, but it looks like the down throw will come out. It's the fourth throw. I don't think he expected it. That DI mix up of that throw is very, very nice. He fooled me, he fooled me, Amaro. Mm. Yeah, when you go for those jabs, I feel like sometimes it's like, oh, they're jabbing because they know it's about to kill. So, so you're holding that position, but yeah, just unfortunately, Bloom read that DI or maybe even looked over. You have time to do that sometimes. What a fantastic performance coming out from Siski. I love the Siski Incineroar. I love it's Incineroar. so, so fun. Cat is so funny to watch. It's great. Let's see if we are going to run it back. Uh, the crowd are chanting K rule. Siski wants none of it. All right, stay cool, stay collected. Let's see where we're going character wise. Going that back to the Dark Summit. We see oh, this. Oh, Pyra Mithra. All right. This is a character Bloom has been playing a little bit at, uh, I believe, played at Rise. So that is a tournament for the record that Bloom did not win. So <laughs> this, uh, I guess, has not been too good for him so far. Well, let's find out. Bloom has always been quite open about the fact that he does want to change character. He's just not really sure who he wants to ch change it to. So could be the one as maybe the Joker has disappeared and replaced with this Pyromethra. Definitely could be a character that could get it done. There's a couple of strings coming out so far. We are on final destination. So we're going to have to use this maneuverability to avoid all of Siski's nonsense. This isn't like Bayo where, you know, he can sort of use that witch time to threaten those projectiles, force Siski to play a little bit more patient. Oh, uh, you there say is... that, but foresight does exist. Foresight does exist, yeah. I'm starting to notice a pattern with this nonsense, actually. As... Yeah, yeah, actually, you're, you're right, you're right. Fourth gone out. Looks like the bullet will not connect as just barely avoiding the throw there. A little bit of a weird situation when they were just throwing hands. But the pirate is here. Going to see if we can find anything nice and strong. 123. And then this matchup definitely seems to be a, uh, or is the Mithra can run all over Samus, but Pyra has a bit of a challenge. But to say that, and Blue managed to find that trade and does manage to hit the first stop. And now Mithra can come back out again and start putting on that percent. The be not quite connecting on stage. And Siski managed to get back to the ledge, but cannot get off ledge. That Nair is a pain to deal with out of that Mithra. Pain is right as the tilts are just flying through. I like that. Go for the Roy side B, why don't you? As there it is, there's the. Didn't quite go for it. Now, oh, fantastic. Just caught. And Bloom is looking fantastic right now. The amount of pressure he's managed to put on with his Pyro Mithra. The Mithra using that speed and those hitboxes very well to keep Siski in the corner. Then once he's in the corner, it's like, ah, well, I know what you're going to do exactly. So Pyro comes out, one hit, dead. 
that side B coming out and doesn't get hard punish. You've got to be punishing that Mithra side B if you ever force it out. Ball managed to catch the up B, but Mithra Ray's managing to drift back to legs. And now it's, it's Mithra starting to get the pressure back on again. And what has Siski got? A charge shot out of disadvantage is the answer. Yeah, I can't help but think that Siski actually messed up the jab check there. And that's what caused this entire situation. Accidentally input a second hit and suddenly there was just no hard punish for what could have been a very easy stop. 182 on this Pyra. My goodness, as the down air comes out, not quite strong enough. The dash attack going to take it. And 61. Siski does not have much to play with. But if he's found a weakness, if he's found the download, he could make it happen. And this is kill percent if you get hit by a down there in the center of the stage right now. But Misfit is actually going to come out to just put a bit more pressure on legs using those speedy hitboxes instead of the bigger, bigger sword. Uh, at the moment, Siski is trying to find anything to get going, but doesn't manage to find anything here. They screw up uh, the up air into up air is going to manage to connect. But Misfit is coming down with an aggressive option yet again. Pyro is out. What has Siski got? Has he got anything to get out of the situation? Ooh. Playing a little bit cautious right there, trying to find a way in. That down there, not going to connect. As actually manages to retreat back to the ledge. Not going to get caught in a tech situation. Just keeping swinging. Do it again. Do it again. As he's forced up. Good DI just to avoid the up air as well. The grabs aren't connecting. Another down air coming out as side B comes out. Can we catch him? Can we chase him? Where are we going? He's threatening something, but he is just going to retreat to ledge. Get up attack is perfect. Risky, but perfect. But... That is the name of Siski, my friends. All right, he's going to try and make it. The jab check comes out. He's doing very well for himself. He might have figured out how to stifle this Pyra. Pyra's movement speed is not quite there compared to Mithra and very much can be stifled out. A lot of players sometimes do prefer just to stay full Mithra in this matchup and just find that raw kill power is an F smash or something that uh, the Mithra does have. And it is going to be the down smash that confirms it. Very nice set coming out of Loom Forever, showing that he has more than just his Bayonetta. Certainly does, certainly does. And I quite, I honestly, I'm starting to think that, you know, Pyramithra is quite a good, uh, look, he's quite well look. suited for old, uh, for old Loom. <laughs> are you, uh, how you, how you feel it? How you feel it, Meryl? Look, I love Pyramithra. I think they're a really cool character and I don't care that they're cringe. However, 